What's up guys, Jake here with another Vainglory video and this time I am playing uh, solo queue ranked cruel and I believe I'm at tier 5 silver, high silver, somewhere in that range and it's been a while since I played, you know, with ClashCon this weekend and the we had an arranged war, which is very busy and so it's really funny to me how, how badly I played in this match, my first match back after just taking a, a day or two off. It's it's strange. It's like this game you have to, and I guess a lot of games are that way, you have to play it regularly to, to be good at it. And I make dumb mistakes in this video. Uh, it, it's pretty bad, actually. But right here we get started off, and I'm with uh, Rona, and she has the contract. I checked and made sure, but here she is taking all the last kills. And I'm, I'm pinging her question mark like, you know, what are you doing? And so right there, right out of the gates, uh, she's taking look at all this gold she takes. I finally go ahead and use my ability right there to get one kill. She takes the next kill shot, ping her again. And I was really frustrated because it, it's surprising to me. I, I just keep pinging her every time trying to get her to stop doing it. And finally she goes off up to the lane and starts doing it to our, um, I can't remember what we got in the lane up there right now. But anyways, it's surprising to me at, at this tier, not that this is a very, very high tier or anything, but you know, if you're at tier... <laughs> If you know, she does it again and tries to, I use the ability. If you're at tier five, tier six, you know, you would think that you understand what the contract is and what, you know, how, that you should be letting your non-contract player, the jungle player, take those last kill shots. But you could tell which runner just did not know. And I don't know how that happens. But anyways, it is what it is. Finally, she does peel off, go up to the lane and leaves me alone so I can get to farming here and start building up some levels and, and start buying some items there. Go ahead and gra grab Blazing Salvo and my boots and just get back to work. Uh, pr the other side's leaving us alone pretty well. Uh, they're pinging me. They're wanting me up there in the lane. And I'm not going to, you know, guys, here's the thing. I... <laughs> I want to help the team out, and I always want to be there for the team. And I know that Scarf needed to go down to the store there, so I did come up. But you don't want to spend a ton of time fighting in the lane. It's fine if you're the roamer, and I, and I say that early game. It's fine if you're the roamer and you've got that contract and you can continue to get gold while you're up there. But you can see right up there, uh, Scarf's trying to send her back down to me because she's taking the last kill shots up there. And again, I just it's confusing how someone couldn't know that. But obviously, uh, Rona did not know that that was the case, that she should be letting the other person take the kill shot. So she sort of doesn't know what to do here because we're both, you know, getting upset when she does that. But I'm pretty, I'm doing pretty good here. I'm almost level six. Get a little fight going. Runner's getting jumped on. So I go ahead and jump on Kashka, uh, beat on her a little bit, use my A ability, and then right there, boom, B ability. She goes down. Now it's just Glaive. Scarf rotates down very nicely. This actually was a very good Scarf. Kind of annoying with the pings, uh, but a very good player for sure. I stay on Glaive, uh, get right up here, get the last shot, take him out. Uh, right there, and then I believe Scarf actually kills. Nope, Celeste is still up right there, uh, but she should have got out of there because I get a hold of her, and Cel and Scarf works his, her, his way around, sort of flanks her. We get the kill right there, and then I'm going to take their minion mine just as punishment. Uh, by the time I get this down, it's so early in the game, Kasha's back up, but she does not want to fight me one on one, and she knows it. So I just take that little bit of their farm, and then I get back to doing my thing, uh, which is farming. Get level six, finally get my ultimate. Stop off at the store. I really was, uh, didn't have enough to, to buy what I wanted here, uh, so I just kept on farming. Uh, they're having, they're still fighting up in the lane, but again, that's fine. You know, you as a jungle, at least in my opinion, you can't as long as they're handling it. I mean, they don't need to be over aggressive in the lane early game. I mean, we're six minutes in. You don't need to be worrying about taking out a turret in six minutes. Uh, let your jungle farm. Let them get built up. Just play a little bit more conservative. It's fine if you get a chance to push. Uh, but you don't want to be doing that when, when you're early game right here. Celeste comes out. I drop the stun on her. Boom. That's that. She goes down. Uh, so that right there, cycling up, getting a gank, or helping with a gank is good. Uh, Glaive comes up and, and Kashka. But I think we get, I think I get out of here right here. Because, again, I don't want to fight in front of their turret. You know, if those guys want to do that, I don't really understand it. Don't ever just, don't get so greedy. You know, you see, I know how it is. You see blood. You want to get that kill. But when you can get down here and get some farm done instead, I'm waiting to see if they, if they cycle down, use my, get my jungle uh, movement ability up, run down there, grab that minion mine again, and then again, just get back to farming here. Here's where I start making some mistakes. I grab Breaking Point and a bla another Blazing Salvo there. Uh, Glaive comes over, I jump on him. He, I don't have my stun up or anything, uh, but Kashka's over there. They're sort of both over there. I get hit with that, that 
scout mine. I do fall back here, but I get, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking right here. You know, I jump on this gold mine, which was actually turned out to be a good move. If they'd have been in those jungle though, they'd have killed me, but they went back down to get that minion mine. So the timing was pretty good there, but it was a risky move without checking those bushes at least. <coughs> Sorry about that guys. Glaive, or excuse me, scarf comes down, helps me out. We grab the minion mine. So that's all good. Or the gold mine. That's all good. Uh, we're looking pretty good at this point. I go ahead and grab my tier two boots and get back to farming. Uh, let's see, what's Rona doing? I can't remember what Rona's over there. She goes ahead and grab our minion mine. A little early, but no big deal. Uh, there was really no reason to do it. Again, they're pinging me. They want me up in the lane. I don't know why. I don't know why. I really don't. I'm getting built up and getting my build on. Uh, it's just best for everybody if that's how it goes. Hit Celeste with a stun. If Rona would have been ready, we probably get that a little quicker, but we get the kill. Uh, scout mines all over already. I guess one of them rushed contraption possibly or just buying scout mines. Uh, this was a dumb move right here. I walked down right into a uh, trap, basically. Right, they were waiting in the bushes for us. Uh, scarf comes down and does a good job. Again, scarf a very good. Uh, it was a very good scarf that I played with here. I think gets both the kills there. Yep, right there. Both of those go down. So excellent job to whoever that is, scarf. If you're watching, you are you are a good scarf for sure. But ease up on the pings, man. Um, get back to the farm here. And that's only the first of many mistakes that I made this this match. Again, I just sort of felt like a noob again, all over again, you know, just not thinking things thoroughly and or thoroughly through and just walking into traps and being too aggressive at times, all that. And I tend to do that some on maybe it's partly that I was off for a while and partly that it was I was on cruel, which I tend to do that. You see here they're they're down in the jungle and I'm just trying to chase them a little bit. And right here, this should have been the end of that, you know. Here they are, I see them and Part of it is that Rona goes back up to the lane for some reason instead of sticking with the team. I don't know why. But part of it was my stupidity, again, walking into a bush, uh, and they're just waiting to ambush me and take me out. And uh, Scarf pings me, which that was justifiable, I guess, so I do respond with a, with a sad face because it was a, a stupid mistake. But again, I was I was making them this match. I don't know why. Uh, Scarf's trying to get, I guess, a little help from, from Rona there. They're getting a little fight. I'm trying to get down as quick as I can to help the team out. Uh, let's see, what are they wanting to do here? Again, it's been a day or so since I did this match. Uh, we're up in the lane, just doing a little fighting. Don't want to push too hard because we are ahead on that, you know. Uh, they're, they're constantly wanting us to fight in front of their turrets, which we don't want to do. Celeste gets sort of caught in a bad spot here. Uh, does get the nice stun off on me. It keeps me from, from getting on her, so just sort of back out. Glaive comes up. Not a real smart move there on his part, but right here, beautiful ultimate by Celeste. Just absolutely wrecks me, and then, um, Kashka and Glaive finished me off there. And I guess they got uh, Scarf as well right there. I go ahead and get Shiver Steel. Now I've got, you know, the, the, the basics of my build set up. And I can start doing a little bit of defense. Because uh, that's what you want to do. You want to get Shiver Steel. You want to get, uh, oh, good, Breaking Point. And you want to just start being a little bit more tanky. Especially if you don't have, like, another full-blown support. Uh, like in this match where I've got uh, Rona, which is not a not a tank at all. So at this point, just trying to run together as a team. They got our turret, and so want to stick together a little bit more often once that turret goes down. At least I try to, because uh, all you got to really do is keep the lane from you know progressing to your next turret, and then from there from there it's just a matter of fighting, you know, doing what you can. So right here, grab tier one uh, armor and shield, check that bush, and then come back up to the lane here. Again, all you want to do is keep those minions. Uh, sort of under control, and from there it's all about just winning team fights and trying to take them down. So wait and see if we can ambush them right here. Just checking the builds, what they've got, and who all's up. Uh, come down here, check this bush, and they are there. So I'll get back. I ping them, let them know that they're there. Uh, they are running down here. I can't remember exactly what happens right here. Oh, I make another mistake right here. Watch this. Uh, waiting to see if we can ambush them a little bit right here. They have a scout mine that gets us all, so now they know where we're at. And right here, I, I thought they had went back you know, retreated back. I don't know what I was thinking. So I go ahead and hit the uh, the gold mine thinking, okay, let's grab this gold mine. Uh, and then boom, right there. Celeste comes in with another nice ultimate, uh, takes me down to basically nothing. And they peel out. I don't know. It was my mistake, but they could have fought there. You know, I don't think either of them did anything really, especially Rona. She just bailed. Uh, so again, another stupid mistake by me cost me another death. I'm up to three kills and four deaths. But that was, from here, I did a little bit better. I sort of thought, okay, Jake, you got to get this under control. You know, too many deaths, you're not helping the team at all. So I start trying to make a little bit better decisions. They come down. Uh, Celeste is right here. I try to grab her with a stun, and I actually end up getting uh, Kashka. Then run up on her. So we've got a good chance to use my Shiver Steel, so Kashka's in trouble. She's not going to get away. Uh, she goes down, and then we can push a little bit right here because we've got the numbers. Uh, again, I do want to get this gold mine, and they are with the gold mine 
right there. It pays out at the end. It's 15 minutes. Just missed it. It was almost full, uh, but the Kraken's up now, so we'll deal with that later. Again, just trying to set up on it for an ambush. They've ambushed me a few times, so I really wanted to return the favor, but Rona just running around like crazy person. I don't know what exactly she's doing there. Uh, but we just sort of right here waiting for them to make the first move, make a mistake. We go back from bush to bush, you know, just back and forth trying to, to catch them off guard. Rona's down at the at the shop. It's sort of a strange time to be at the shop. But anyways, comes back up, uh, checking bushes, just going back and forth again, trying to be, not be the one to make the mistake. Uh, we want to let them come to us and, and get a jump on them. I think right here uh, we do spot, spot them up in, the, in that bush right there, sort of give the signal that's where they're at. Um, and then right here, we just want to sort of catch a good spot to fight them. You know, you don't want to fight them in and out of that bush. We're trying to wait, be patient. Again, Rona is, I wasn't impressed with Rona. Scarf was really good. I screwed up a lot and Rona was just, uh, I'm not sure what, what she was doing. So right here, I kind of like this move. I don't know that it was planned, but, uh, you see Scarf gave the question, uh, should he go for the, for the, uh, Kraken and then see I've got all three of them up here fighting me so I just last just long enough for them to take the Kraken out and boom right there they they get me three on one which is to be expected uh, and I could have played a little bit more conservative maybe but they you know didn't get much damage on our turret and we did get the Kraken so that was a pretty big move right there uh, so they come in and they get some good damage on them and they of course they have to fall back and start you know worrying about the Kraken so they can't really uh, press the issue that they've got a two on three here they've got to fall back uh, scarf again nice uh, puddle there and lights it on fire and then right here they start uh, chasing them down and I think uh, now yeah I think they get away but look at the the, the uh, Kraken's already down there on that turret doing damage I get up try my best to run down here we're trying to get down there as quick as we can uh, make the most of this Kraken you want to get uh, usually more than one turret for your Kraken otherwise it really wasn't worth it Glaive comes over, he's trying to take out our Scarf, so I put some hits on him uh, right there, go ahead and stun, and then boom, once he goes down, uh, Celeste has got to retreat, get back, and right there, the Kraken finally goes down, we only got the one turret, I, mean, I think they got some damage, oh shit, yeah, Kraken's down, uh, I think they got, uh, they, before we even get any damage on that second turret, so not the best Kraken e anyways, but the way it worked out, because they sort of have an advantage and it made them fall back, it was probably worth it, so right here, obviously, you know, we have a couple guys that are half health or less, uh, just want to get out of there. We, we, you know, we turned the tide there a little bit. We've got the momentum right here and the advantage, so we want to keep it. Uh, just get back to the store. I go ahead and buy my tier two armor, and from here, just wanting to uh, do a little bit more farming. They come over and <laughs> grab some of my last hits there. Uh, all right, so I don't know what they're pinging about here, honestly. Just I guess because uh, Rona took another last hit there, probably. Uh, but again, Scarf a little bit ping happy. Uh, we know the fight's about to go down here. So let's see, where does it happen at? We're just waiting on them. They're checking the store again, see if there's anything they need to pick up. And then right here, I think they go down. I go down and just start taking out some of these minions in the lane. Don't want them to get down to our turret. Uh, right here, yeah, the fight starts happening. They come out. We're just trying to get advantage, uh, waiting for someone to mess up and make a mistake. And I think finally they do. We fall back into this bush here. I don't know what they were thinking. We went, uh, but they overextend a little bit. And then that's when we jump on them here. I just, I'm just waiting, just waiting, waiting, waiting for the first person to really screw up. And right there, it's Glaive that does it. Come in, put a few hits on him. Boom, he's going to go down in just a second. Nice ultimate by Scarf there. Uh, get the stun off right there. Get my life back up. So two of them down. Now it's a three on one. Uh, we can just pretty much march down there and do whatever we want to do. Celeste has nothing uh, nothing she can do with us. So I'm trying to come down and catch her. Uh, but, you know, I don't unless I'm on top of Celeste, I really don't want to fight her. I've got Shiver still. But I can't just chase and, and she'll just poke me to death if I do. So I come over. I go ahead and grab Atlas Paul, our check right here. See that they did have a tornado trigger. Go ahead and grab Atlas Pauldron. And I'm wanting to do the Kraken kill because, again, it's just Celeste up right now. And I don't think she wants to come over and try to take this. So we burn down the Kraken. That's our second Kraken. And that is pretty much going to be it. Uh, we just wait a little bit, make sure that they're falling back. Go ahead and grab the minion mine. I let the Kraken get out in the lane and start pushing forward. And then that's going to be that. Uh, they come over, and I don't know why they're, I guess they're trying to catch us off guard maybe here and get a fight. I put the stun on Kashka, but Rona was down there farming for some reason at this point. I have no idea why, uh, but we could have got the kill on Kashka right there, but just it was just me. So right here, they, they're focused on the Kraken. Nice ultimate by Scarf coming right in there, getting all three of them, nothing they can do. Uh, Celeste returns an ultimate, but doesn't do much because the Kraken absorbs a lot of it. Uh, and then right here, get down into the, into the, Heart of the base, and the, everything's targeting the Kraken, so we're going to take out these turrets really, really quickly. Uh, Celeste doing her best to come over, but not a good idea, honestly. 
Uh, as soon as I turn around here, we grab her. Scarf's giving me the signal, so I say, okay, put the shiver still on her. A few hits, boom, use that B ability, and she is pretty much done right there. Uh, turret's targeting me, but no big deal. It's almost dead. Boom, it goes down. We're on the vein, and that is that enemy surrendered, but not in time. I think we actually, yeah, we get the, the vein busted before they even surrender. So I got the win, but again, a lot of mistakes, and I feel very rusty coming back after the just a day or two break. So hopefully a few matches, I'll get back in the swing of things, and you guys won't see me screw up as much. There's the stats here. Uh, you'll see the build. Give everybody a thumbs up, I think. Uh, yeah, give everybody a thumbs up. Here's the build. I uh, hope you guys liked it. Until next time, Jake, doing my best to help you guys suck less.